you can do yoga here. They're going to put a screen up so you can watch sports events. There's a bar in the corner. And these are the biggest skyscrapers in all of Manchester. 7 a.m. guys, we're about to shower and get ready for work. Today is the day that we finally get our keys for our house. We put the offer on the house in December and we've been trying to get it since then. It's May now. Yeah, it's, it's just so exciting. The weather in Manchester at the moment is grey. What a surprise. Cheeky train going past there. And we're moving out of this flat next week. Bit of a big deal as well. We've been in this flat for a while. Let me shower and then I'll catch up with you guys a bit later. As always, I'm running late, so I uh, need to get a bit of a move on. This week, I've been working in the Outliers team. So the Outliers are basically the patients that are orthopedic patients, but they're not on the orthopedic wards. And as an SHO doctor, you work with a physician associate. So I'm working with a physician associate called Hannah this week, and it's her last week. So tomorrow is actually her last day at this hospital. So Hannah's last day, I'm getting a house. I think it's gonna be a good day. We've arrived at the hospital, I'm going to get my bag out, I'm going to leave my camera here because I can't really take it in with me, uh, I'll use my phone for the rest of the day and then I'll see you after work. I finished the ward round, now doing the jobs for the day. The sun is shining and I'm finally leaving the hospital for the day. Gonna pick up the keys for the flat. Back in the car, I've finished my day at work. In the morning, we went in, prepared the list. The consultant came, we did the whole ward round, finished by like one o'clock, ate lunch, started writing up notes, did some discharge summaries. I was quite distracted, kind of thinking about the house. The day went really quickly, actually. Let me tell you the story about the mattress, because we had an absolute nightmare with this, because we thought we were going to get the... My wipers are so loud. We thought we were going to get the flat last week, so we ordered a mattress there, and they have nowhere to store it. And because we didn't get the flat last week, we were stuck with this mattress, so I had to go and pick it up in my car and bring it back to our flat. So I can't wait to put it in our new flat, so it's finally out of this space, and also so we've got somewhere to sleep in the new flat, which we're gonna move into this weekend. So coming home, picking up the mattress, picking up Sam. How are you feeling about the flat? Excited! Excited to see it now. So we're in the flat, we've looked around, we're about to open some Prosecco. I'm not gonna show you the flat, there's an echo because there's nothing in this flat. I'm not gonna show you the flat fully because I'm gonna do a flat tour at some point, so I'm gonna save that. But I will show you something really cool, which is this little winter garden. So this is like a study um, that's made fully of glass. You can see here, we'll close that door. And this is one of the things that we absolutely loved about the apartment. Um, and this is where we've got a dining table. So that's where my desk is gonna be. And then 
This is our view as well over these really nice gardens. And we've got the sun that sets over this side too. This is the view from the roof of our apartment. It's a shared communal area. You can do yoga here. They're gonna put a screen up so you can watch sports events. There's a bar in the corner. And these are the biggest skyscrapers in all of Manchester. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of our brand new flat. Bear in mind there's no furniture at all and we've only just got the keys. So let's go inside. 